the heart is the most sensitive organ in our body. It is vital to our survival, if the heart stops, the blood supply to the brain stops and we can die very quickly. But what if I told you that there is a person who survived and thrived without a heart for more than one year? Oh my god. Yes it sounds unbelievable but it is true. Stan Larkin, a 25 year old American boy, lived for 555 days without a heart, while he waited for a transplant. He discovered he had heart disease when he was just a teenager. Stan was playing basketball when he suddenly collapsed. He was rushed to the hospital where doctors found that he had a heart problem named familial cardiomyopathy. Stan's little brother, Dominique, also had the same heart problem, which can cause sudden death. Over the years, the condition of both the brothers got worsened. In 2014, they suffered total heart failure, and both needed artificial hearts, while they waited for a heart transplant. Dominique received a heart in just five weeks, but, Stan had to wait more than a year for an available heart. Normally, patients with artificial hearts need to be hooked up to machines in a hospital. Stan broke new ground by leaving the hospital with a backpack that powered his artificial heart. Inside the backpack, was a 13.5 pound battery powered machine called the Freedom Driver. The aptly named Freedom Driver which gave him the freedom to leave the hospital and even his house for up to three hours at a time. The pump on his back was connected to his artificial heart by tubes that exited his chest. It pushed air into his artificial heart, which pumped blood through his body. The temporary total artificial heart is used when both sides of the heart fail, and more common heart supporting devices are not adequate to keep patients alive. The Freedom Driver gave Stan the freedom to live a semi-normal life, playing with his three children and even playing basketball. Uh, Dr. Half came and talked to me and said the, the best thing to get me back healthy and back to normal so I could make it to the transplant was a total artificial heart. But I was worried about the effects that it might have, like, if anything, like, is it really going to work? Has anybody else ever had this? I was like, oh, it's a word. It was a stressful situation, but after I got it, I felt so much better. I felt like before I ever had any heart problems, that's how I felt like I could do whatever I wanted again. Finally, Stan received his donor heart on May 9, 2016, and fully recovered from the procedure. This incident shows us that the technology, which is considered to be a curse, made a person worth living for 555 days without a heart.